Welcome to the Outlaws of Thunder Junction Collector Booster Guide, where we'll sew up and ride through the contents of this treasure trove of Magic the Gathering cards. Collectors boosters are the fastest draw in the West for those looking to snag the most exclusive and sought after cards from the Outlaws of Thunder Junction expansion. Let's break down what each slot in a collector booster might contain, including the odds and percentages for each type of card and treatment. Each collector booster pack contains a tool of 15 cards. In the first Slot, you'll find four traditional foil commons. This is out of 81 total commons for the main set, each common having an equal chance in appearing of this slot. After that, in the second slot, you'll find three traditional foil uncommons out of 100. Each uncommon has an equal chance in appearing in this slot. Then in the third slot, you'll be able to find one traditional foil full art western landscape basic land. In total, there are five basic lands in the Magic the Gathering, each with one unique piece of full art. These are full art versions of the basic land showcasing the western themed landscapes of Thunder Junction. Each basic land variation has an equal chance of appearing in this slot. In the first slot, you'll find one non-foil breaking news uncommon. Breaking news cards feature a front page news style frame reporting the spell as a crime with thematic artwork and design. These are all cards that have been reprinted before and there are a total of 65 of them, 20 uncommons, 30 rares, and 15 mythics. Each breaking news uncommon has an equal chance of appearing in this slot. Next in the fifth slot you'll find one traditional foil breaking news uncommon. Similar to the non-foil breaking news uncommons, in this slot you'll have the same odds with a premium on the foil treatment. In the sixth slot you'll find one traditional foil rare or mythic from the main set or the big score subset. Now in total there are 60 rares from the main set, 20 mythics from the main set and on top of that, the big score consists of cards from a magical vault, with 30 mythic rares included in this slot. Also, here you'll be able to find them in the normal art and frame. The odds in this slot are that rares appear more frequently than mythic rares, with big score mythic rares being particularly elusive in general. In the seventh slot, you'll find one non foil booster fun or extended art rare or mythic rare. Now, booster fun cards can include any of the following. First, you have wanted posters, 13 cards featuring characters from the set as if they were on wanted posters complete with thematic western style fonts and design elements. These showcase cards are available in both traditional foil and non-foil version in general. Then you have the borderless cards. These are cards that have artwork that extends to the edges removing the traditional border for a more immersive visual experience. There are a total of 7 borderless cards, 5 of which are rare lands and 2 are mythic planeswalkers and in the set they can appear in both traditional foil and non-foil foil version. And then you find the big score vault frame cards. Now these are the same as the big score cards but they have an added vault frame treatment which is exclusive to collector boosters. It features a luxurious frame design that is different from the usual frames and it's reminiscent of masterpieces back in Kaladesh. Next up you can find extended art cards and an extended art card is a treatment unique to collector boosters featuring a larger artwork that extends beyond the usual art box. The normal OTJ cards come with 61 extended art cards, out of which 50 are rares and 11 are mythics. In this slot, you can find the 30 big score cards that are also included with the extended art treatment. Overall, in this slot, the boardless and booster fun treatments are rarer than the extended art cards, but no percentages are given. In the S slot, you'll find a non foil or traditional foil rare or mythic rare from the Outlaws of Thunder Junction Commander set. There are four mythic rare face commanders from the OTC set that can appear in this slot in non-foil, but only the boardless version of these commanders exists in this slot. After that, you have 36 other extended art cards that can appear in this slot in non-foil, out of which 32 are rare and four are mythic. And then the four mythic rare extended art commander cards can also appear in this slot in traditional foil. In the nine slot, you'll find one non-foil breaking news rare or or mythic rare and the rares are more common than mythics as there are 30 rares and 15 mythics. In the 10th slot you'll find the more complicated slot. Here you can find one traditional foil booster fun rare or mythic rare or a breaking news rare or mythic rare or a special guest mythic rare or a texture foil breaking news mythic rare or a vault frame raised foil mythic rare. Out of this treatment that we haven't discussed we have the special guests which are reprints with new 
art reimagined in the style of Thunder Junction, often featuring thematic elements like extremely snazzy hats. These are all mythics, with some mythics being more mythical than others. Then you have the vault frame raised foils. So some of the vault frame cards, which is five of them, appear in raised foil with a special elevated golden stamp embedded in the frame itself. These are only found in collector's boosters. Lastly, you have the texture foil breaking news, similar to the vault frame raised foils these are textual foil versions, but here the whole card is textured out of each of the 15 Mythic Rare Breaking News cards, adding a unique flair to foils and makes them extra blingy. These are also an exclusive to collector boosters. In total, in this slot, you have the following chances. You can find a normal extended art rare 42% of the times, or about one in every 2.38 packs. You can find a Breaking News rare or Mythic 29% of times, or about 1 in 3.45 panks. And then a Wanted Poster Rear, or Mythic 6% of times, or about 1 in 16.67 panks. Then you find a Big Score Extended Art Mythic 5% of times, or about 1 in 20 panks. And a Big Score Vault Frame Mythic about 5% of times, or 1 in 20 panks. Then a board list rare or mythic, 4% of times or about 1 in 25 packs. A special guest mythic, 3% of times or 1 in 33.33 packs. Then a textual foil breaking news mythic in about 1% of packs or 1 in 100 packs. And then the raised foil vault frame mythic rare is the hardest one to find this slot with less than 1% of chance. And not given an exact percentage, it means that it's less than 1 in 100 packs, but we can't give you a specific odd. In total, each collector booster box contains a total of 12 collector boosters. And regarding the slots, this brings us to a total of 4 commons that you can find in each pack, 3 to 5 uncommons, 5 rares or mythics and up to seven alternate art cards and one traditional foil full art western landscape basic land in each pack. So we hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure to give a thumbs up and sub to the channel as it helps small channels like ours a lot. And do let us know what you're most excited about in this expansion in the comments down below as we read and reply to every one of them. And remember that you'll be able to find any and all of these type of cards in our UK exclusive card marketplace at very friendly shards.co.uk. So make sure to check that out if you're interested in buying or selling your cards on the market. As we close this guide, remember that the Outlaws of Thunder Junction collector boosters are your ticket to the most exclusive cards from the set. Happy hunting, may your pulls be as legendary as the Outlaws themselves, and until the next video, be good, be kind, have a good day, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!